I know Nick really likes incorporating fruit into his food. He always likes when I make fruity relishes or fruity salsa. I dare you to try to find food this good in a restaurant. <laughs> Hey, I'm Crystal, and this is my friend Sam. I'm a celebrity personal chef, and this week I am going to be cooking all of Crystal's meals. I'm really excited. I'm really excited. I think you're gonna love the food. Let's do it. So we are behind the scenes in the Tasty Kitchen, watching what they're making. If you've ever taken the time to make an amazing recipe and you followed it step by step, you got the highest quality ingredients you cleaned, this takes like six hours, so people aren't eating this elaborately because of the time commitment. Who are some of your biggest clients? Two Chains, Nick Jonas. Um, I got to work with Boogie Cousins when he was injured last year. My first job in the food industry was being Ludacris's personal chef. It's glamorous, but it's also a lot of work. So you mentioned the menu that you prepared for me. Can you tell me about it? The menu is super bright and vibrant and nourishing. There's no specific dietary restrictions. However, it tends to be very low on dairy and gluten and tends to be really high on vegetables, lots of herbs. A lot of my clients don't have super strict restrictions. It's more just give me healthy, wholesome meals that are lower in carbs and higher in lean protein. When you're cooking for your clients, do you ever worry about calories at all? Some of them, like for the NBA players, it's definitely a lot of focus on macros. So I'll actually weigh everything out and measure how much carbs, how much protein. The yeah. more I watch them cook, the more I drool and get really excited for the week to come. I keep getting excited over the dishes that they're making and thinking this is the one I'm most excited for. And then the next plate comes out and I'm like, no, no, this is the one that I'm most excited for. And then the next plate comes out and that's the one that I'm most excited for. It's been a lot of that. So the favorite dish today from everyone seems to be this gorgeous vegan burrito that I actually, it was beautifully plated and then I knocked it over. Mm -hmm. It is day one, meal one, and I'm super excited because I'm actually on set today, taking a little lunch break. This is like super convenient because Sam actually even wrote on here the days to eat everything so that it would be at its best. And also like that I should eat this cold versus heating it up. Oh yeah, look at that. Here we go, first bite. Mmm, that was really, really good. It's very like fresh. I could get used to this. And actually, I have like really rosy cheeks, if you can't tell. <laughs> and I'm kind of wondering if eating really, really clean for the next week is gonna help that at all. I'm not really sure, but if it does, I might have to hire her full time. <laughs> so it's night one, I just got home. It's about 8.20 p.m. I'm pretty tired, but I actually have to leave in a few minutes. So I'm finding it really convenient that I have this super, amazing looking dish already ready to go for me. Tonight is Persian Tadig with salmon and a bunch of beautiful veggies. This isn't something I normally probably would have had in my fridge, but I'm really excited to try this. Ooh, there it is. She's beautiful. Mm. Now I can just finish this and go to my appointment. <laughs> So I have about 20 minutes before I have to go to my next meeting. Not a whole lot of time to eat lunch, but it's making it really convenient that I already have this really healthy lunch prepared. Today is this really gorgeous vegan burrito with a bunch of really gorgeous vegetables in it. So I can just pop this in the microwave for a few minutes, and then I'm on my way. It's Wednesday, we're halfway through the week, and one thing that I've already really noticed is how much more energy I have than usual. These past couple of weeks have been really busy, both personally and professionally, but the food that I've eaten for the past few days feels like it's actually helping me keep up with everything. Every dish is so well-balanced and so nutritious that it actually feels like fuel for my body. I never feel weighted down afterwards, I never feel sluggish, and overall I just have so much more energy. It's making me realize I probably have not been eating healthy enough for a while. <laughs> so 
So we are here one more time in the Tasty Kitchen to finish our meal prep for the week. Normally, Sam actually cooks for her clients every single day, but I didn't want to take up all of her time because she's a very, very busy woman. So we're splitting it up into two days and let's see what she's cooking today. A lot of people have this perception that all my clients are requesting what they want and they're thinking about their meals, but most of my clients don't request much. They don't really think about their food. That's part of the benefit of having a private chef is that you don't have to worry about your food. I'm gonna take care of that. So I have one last meal that I'm eating, which I'm eating here in the kitchen as Sam prepares the rest of my meals for the week. And it is this vegan pad thai with mung bean noodles. It's so colorful, it looks really, really delicious. And she just informed me that tonight, Two Chains is eating the same dinner. I feel like I'm eating dinner with Two Chains. Right now you're gonna turn into a gangsta. <laughs> I don't get nervous to work with any celebrities. Now that I know them, I feel more proud of them. I feel like invested in their success. I know that they're just people and I've worked with enough celebrities by now to know that they're normal human beings. Priyanka does have a salad every day for lunch or a grain bowl every single day. So sometimes when I'm like running out of ideas, I'm like, okay, a different type of lettuce or she usually has a chicken salad. I'm getting so spoiled right now. This looks so good. What are you having for lunch? I am having a frozen meal. <laughs> it doesn't even compare to your lunch. I have a frozen lunch and you have a farmer's market celebrity chef created lunch. <laughs> If I have learned anything this week, it's that when you have someone preparing all of your meals for you, you get so much more done. <laughs> like, much needed haircuts. But seriously, I think the biggest thing I learned is that I was totally wrong. I had this idea that celebrities hire personal chefs because they can. I really, I really just sort of thought that it was mostly about the convenience. But after this week, I actually see it as more of an investment. That hiring a chef like Sam is more about making an investment into your own well-being. Because you have someone there who's supporting your goals and literally fueling you to be able to go out and be the best version of yourself that you can be. And I am totally aware <laughs> that hiring a personal chef is not realistic for the average person. It's certainly not realistic for me, but it has inspired me to find little ways to make those investments in myself. And, and I think it's really inspired me to just be more aware of what I'm choosing to put in my body. And while I've been at home eating meal prepped versions of these dishes, I know that Nick and Priyanka are uh, on a yacht in Miami with Sam there, making everything fresh for them. Hopefully one day I can afford that kind of investment in myself. <laughs>